Hey, Victor Grun here, and I'm going to show you how to use Texture Packer with Hacks Flixel. Now, for those of you who haven't used it before, Texture Packer is a way to conveniently pack multiple sprite frames of animation or just individual assets into one big PNG file complete with an atlas that allows it to be used in a more convenient way than um, a lot of other alternatives for um, getting assets into a program. Um, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to have links to Texture Packer and Hacksflixel's GitHub location in, in the comments section itself, but for now let's start with uh, the fundamentals of, of how you use this program. First off, what we have here, I'm going through uh, Flash Develops interface right now. Here's a series of PNG files, frames of a, of a walk animation that I want to make use of in my program. Okay, first thing I do is I highlight all of the PNG files that I wish to use, and I just bring them to this part of the Texture Packer GUI program. As you can see, it's just highlight and move over and it automatically formats everything for you. Um, one thing you'll notice is when you mouse over this, you'll see that I have 16 PNG files, but a good number of them are redundant. Half of them are redundant. But even so, Texture Packer automatically takes the redundant frames and you know if they're the exact same frame there's no reason to copy them in twice so that saves you space and it does this for each of the frames in the program uh, that I've that I've copied over now what you want to do is select JSON array put in the file name for for the the JSON data file the file name for the texture file that you're going to be outputting. Um, as you can see there's a whole lot of other information here but we're not going to deal with anything more in depth for now. We're just going to stick with the fundamentals of how to get this up and running in Hacksflixel. Now once you put in the uh, the file name in the directory it's as simple as pressing publish and there you go. Now let me show you the file that's been outputted and right here you're going to see the uh, two of the frames has been colored red with some uh, notifications that my license has expired, which it has. It's after seven days. That's not an error of the program. That's just a reminder that we should be supporting our independent developers who make such wonderful products. <laughs> Either way, everything's working here fine. Now, I threw the JSON file and my PNG file into assets images in flash develop. Um, in order to make in order to refer to that what we're going to need is texture packer data. This is under Flixel util loaders texture packer data. Once again we're using the latest uh, version of Flixel on GitHub. I'll have a link to that as well. Um, the first thing you need to do when you instantiate this class is put in the directory and location of the file with a string assets images t dot j s a o n j s o n sorry um, for the JSON file itself and then you need to the directory of the PNG file that's associated with that texture atlas um, that's it for, for that portion. Then you create a flick sprite as normal. Um, load image from texture and then you use the texture packer data that you just created. Uh, we're not going to worry about the other um, settings for now. They're, they're not important. Now here's the thing that's worth noting. There are three different ways to refer to the JSON to the, to the images within the JSON file. Um, the first one is add in add animation by indices from texture. At this point you give the name of your animation. I'm going for normal. And then 
you put in the prefix of the file names you're going to be using and let's I'm moving over to the JSON file right now for instance you'll see all of the all of the PNG names of all of the names of the PNGs that I imported into texture packer are represented in this atlas file where we see file name frame rotated trimmed sprite source size source size etc but the thing that's that we want to pay attention to here is the file name it will save the file names according to what the the images were and as you can also see I had cap guy walk 1 2 3 4 all the way up to 16 so the prefix would be cap guy walk and then I would have an array of integers that would represent the actual numbers so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. And finally, the postfix, which would just be the end of the file name that comes after the numbers, which in this case is .png. And then you have your frame rate. Now, we load this up. And taking a moment to process, but there you are, 10 frames per second with of course the um, you know the bit of red but you see it's animating just fine um, that's one way to take care of this one way to uh, use the animations and refer to the frames in the atlas the second way is add animation by names from texture now in this case if you're used to um, flixel and hex flixel you're going to be used to the method where you put your frames in a, an integer array. So frame 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Here you can refer directly to the file names like capguywalk1, capguywalk10, and so on. I made a an array that once again it was 13579, but except this time I was referring to the the file name completely. No need for a prefix or a, post, a prefix or a postfix. Once again, at 10 frames per second, I'll load it up again. It's going to be the same exact thing as previously, but you'll see, once again, working just fine. Now, the third way. Oh, I better go back. There's one thing I forgot. With adding animation by indices from texture, one thing you have to keep in mind there is a tendency for these programs when you're outputting your um, list of frame your, the frames of your animation to use the format image name 0001 0002 etc but then when it gets to 10 it's 0010 and so on that's a problem with um, adding in adding animation by indices from texture because What's happening is you're going to want your prefix to be capguywalk000 for 1 through 9, but that's not going to work for 10 and above. So if you're going to use that format, keep that in mind, it, because it's, it's going to screw up otherwise and not include the, um, the frames you want to use. But there is also a third method for importing and processing the frames, and that's add, anim add animations by prefix from texture. Sounds similar to the first, but what's different here is if I have cap guy walk 1 through 20, then all I need to do is put in cap guy walk for the prefix, and it will automatically import everything that's following that format. So cap guy walk 1 through 16, they will be imported and imported in order. Now for the purposes of this demo, there's one thing to keep in mind. As I showed earlier, I was using redundant frames for each frame. It's so there's 16 frames for cap guy walk, but there's also a duplicate of each. So I boosted the frames per second up to 20. And once that processes, you're going to see that it's going at 10 frames in, in terms of display because it's going twice as fast to the other, as the others were going, but it's got twice as many um, individual frames that are all duplicates. 
anyway so that's what you're going to need to learn the fundamentals of how to get texture packer working with hacks flixel and really it's a it's a fantastic thing it's a fan, it's a it's a really convenient program because this is going to let you compress a whole lot of redundant sprites in various um, um, apps that you make everything can get compressed down to a single PNG sprite sheet and if you have your naming conventions organized it's going to be super easy to refer to everything pull everything out even easy and and for another thing you don't have to uh, worry about your artist not fitting everything into a perfect square on a sprite sheet um, it's just one more way to get um, assets into your into your hacks flixel project um, be sure to check out the um, the information below this uh, video because I'll have the links to texture packer as well as uh, the latest dev version of uh, hacks flixel on github um, and please remember to like this video if it turns out to be helpful to you. I hope it is. Catch you later, guys.